In this video, I want to talk about peptide cross presentation on MHC molecules. And in order to really understand this, we need to think about what happens when we're infected with a virus. So I've here drawn a very similar picture, how we also started talking about bacterial infections. And now we're going to just apply this and modify it towards what's going to happen when we are infected with a virus. So as you know, a virus is just a piece of RNA or DNA in an envelope. So now what do you have to know? And I'm sure during this first days of immunology, everybody appreciates it. What is the major adaptive immune response to a viral infection? And I hope you're going to say, well, we definitely want to have a CD8 T cell response if you are infected with a virus. And why? Because if a cell is infected with a virus, the only way you can help the cell is basically to kill it. Help is not possible anymore once a cell is infected with a virus. So we want to kill it. So we want to get a CD8 T cell response. How do we get a CD8 T cell response? Well, we only get a CD8 T cell response if this dendritic cell goes to the lymph node, presents a virus via MHC class 1, and then finds a T cell, activates it, and then this T cell can go back to the site of infection and start killing all these virally infected cells. So that's the plan. So now, what is the prerequisite in order to show up on MHC class 1? And that's what we want. Well, the prerequisite is that this virus is found in the cytoplasm of the dendritic cell. That's the only way it can show up on MHC1. Okay, so if the dendritic cell is infected with the virus, yes, then we agree it's going to show up on MHC1. It's also going to show up on MHC2 anyway, because almost everything is going to show up on MHC2 because this virus is also going to float around outside the cell. So it's always going to show up on MHC2. But we really want to focus on MHC1 because that's what we want in order to get a CD8 T cell response. So we all agree if the dendritic cell is infected, then we're going to get presentation via MHC1. The dendritic cell will go off, will find all its way into the lymph node, will try to find a CD8 T cell that it can activate then the CD8 T cell will undergo clonal proliferation. We're going to make thousands of daughter CD8 T cells. And then we have plenty of them. They can go back to the site of infection and help clear the infection. But now we clearly see what is the prerequisite. This dendritic cell must be infected by the virus. But not every virus will infect dendritic cells. Let's take this virus out again and say, OK, what's going to happen? if the dendritic cell does not get infected with the virus. Because this is our connector. The dendritic cell needs to go to the lymph node in order to activate a CD8 T cell. So no other cell can really do this job. Now, fortunately, we have something that is called cross-presenting dendritic cell. And what is cross-presentation? Well, cross-presentation is a potential to present exogenous proteins on MHC1. It turns out that dendritic cell has this potential to, even if it's not infected and found it just extracellularly, it's going to phagocytose it and then still can show it on MHC1, even if it's not infected. So I have this also in writing here. So cross-presentation is the ability to take a process and present extracellular antigens with MHC1 to CD8 T cells. And that's something only the so-called cross-presenting dendritic cell can do. So you have two different types of dendritic cells. So the normal dendritic cell is called a conventional dendritic cell. And let's draw in here this normal dendritic cell. And let's suppose it finds this viral particles outside. Then you can imagine that it can only present this viral particles via MHC class 2. 
So let's suppose these viral particles are red. So they're going to be only presented via MHC class 2 because we're going to pose this dendritic cell is not infected by the virus. And just to emphasize, I mean, the dendritic cell will obviously also have MHC1 proteins expressed and they always are filled. So they're filled with peptides and they're going to be self-peptides, different self-peptides. And also just to clarify, we're also going to always find MHC molecules that have self-peptides. So let's make one blue so that you can just see it's never going to be only viral virus presented. We find all kinds of stuff in this conventional dendritic cell. Okay, so let's draw in contrast a cross-presenting dendritic cell. Let's draw a couple of MHC molecules, a couple of MHC1 molecules. And now what we're going to see is that although the dendritic cell is not infected, it will have the capacity to show viral proteins on MHC1. And that's pretty special. And we're going to also have them on MHC2. And also just to make sure that everybody understands that there were always self-proteins, self-peptides presented as well. Let's draw also some blue stuff in on here. And again, the MHC molecules are never going to be empty. Okay, so now next I wanted to show you this also in this more detailed slide. What really happens, and we're going to put this in in orange, that we find this exogenous protein, in this case this is viral, it's going to get taken up into the endosome, but then there's a spillover in the cytoplasm, and these viral proteins can get into the proteasome, they can taken up by TAP, and then they're going to show up on MHC class 1 molecules. And that's what cross-presentation is. Now, just a quick final note for cross-presentation. You might now wonder, so what's the point of even having MHC1 and MHC2 if the dendritic cell can present stuff that is had found outside anyway on MHC1? Well, the point is that we are not going to have regularly this cross-presenting DCs around. We're only going to have them if we have a viral infection. So some combination of signals when you're having a viral infection the virus-specific TLRs that get activated, then some type 1 interferon that you're going to get that's very specific for virus infection activates this cross-presenting pathways. So you're not going to have this all the time present. Only during a viral infection, you're going to get cross-presenting dendritic cells.